In this video, you will learn how to make a basic animation with multiple sprites in Scratch. This video picks up where our last video left off. We have a program where our cat sprite says hello, walks across the screen to the right, waits for a second, turns around, walks back to the left, says goodbye, and then disappears. If you haven't seen that video yet, you can find it linked in the description of this one. Our goal for this video is to add a second character or sprite to the stage that can interact with the first one in your animation. We're going to add another sprite by going down to this button in the bottom right corner that says choose a sprite where you have a few different options. You can choose from existing sprites, you can draw your own, you can select a random one, or you can upload an image. For now, we are going to choose from the existing sprites, and when you click that button, you get a giant list of sprites you can choose from, including filters at the top to select different types, like animals, and there's also a search box you can use to search for certain things. So for example, I am going to search for a dog, and we are going to add this dog sprite to our program. Now, you might notice that when I select the dog sprite, the work area is blank, and this is because each sprite gets its own program. So if I click on the cat sprite again, you can see the program that I wrote in the previous video, but if I click on the dog sprite, this area is blank because I have not written a program for it. If I run the program, the cat sprite will still execute its program, but you can see that since the dog sprite does not have a program, it just stays there and doesn't do anything. It does not run the same code that I have for the cat sprite. So let's say that my goal is to have the cat walk up to the dog, maybe they talk to each other and have a short conversation, and then the cat is going to walk away. So for starters, I am going to click and drag to reposition my dog, and then I want the dog to be facing to the left so it's looking at the cat. You may remember from the previous video that we can do that by going up here to the Costumes tab, and I am going to just edit the default costume for the dog by clicking and dragging to select the whole thing, then clicking Flip Horizontal, so now the dog is facing to the left. If I go back and run my code, which note that I can do even though I have the dog sprite selected, when I click the green flag, that is going to start any code that has this when green flag clicked block at the top. So even though I can't see this code right now, it still runs when I click the green flag. The cat is going to walk up to the dog. They bump into each other a little bit and then turn around. So the first thing I might want to change there is not having the cat bump into the dog so they overlap. I can change that by going back to the code for my cat sprite and changing this value for where the sprite moves to. I am moving to the position X100, Y0. Remember that X is the horizontal position on the stage. Y is the vertical position. So maybe I will decrease that a little bit to 80. And then I'm going to run it again and see if they still overlap. And you can iterate or tweak and change that number. They were still overlapping there, so I'm gonna make it even smaller, maybe down to 50, and run it again until I get these sprites positioned how I want them so they're not overlapping when the cat moves forward. Still a little bit of overlap. I'm gonna change my dog by clicking and dragging over to the right so they get a little more space, and eventually I can get this so they're not bumping into or overlapping each other. There we go. I still don't have a program for the dog. The dog is just sitting there and not doing anything as the cat walks across the screen. So now let's write a program that will have the dog say something to the cat when they approach each other. So we are going to do that the same way we wrote the program for the cat. I'm going to go over here to the events menu, drag out the when green flag clicked block, and then I want the dog to say something like, for example, maybe the dog will ask, how are you? And I'm going to use the say something for two seconds block because that will then cause the word bubble to disappear as opposed to just the say block, which will cause the word bubble to stay there until you say something else. And again, we covered that in the earlier videos in this series. So now if I run the program, 
we see that both of these scripts or programs will happen at the same time. When I click the green flag, the program for the cat will run and the program for the dog will run. So I click the green flag, the cat starts moving, and right away the dog says, how are you, for two seconds, and then that disappears. But let's say that we want the dog to wait until the cat is right in front of it to ask, how are you? We can do that using a wait block, which you can find under the control menu on the left. So I'm going to drag that out, and the wait block defaults to one second, but this is where you will need to go back and forth between the programs for your two sprites to get the timing right. If we look at the code for our cat, we have three blocks at the beginning that all happen very quickly. They don't have a delay or wait associated with them. So we can pretty much consider the switch costume, show, and go to blocks to take zero time. But we then have a say hello block for two seconds a wait block for one second. If you were paying attention earlier in the video, you might have noticed that was half a second, but I changed it to one to make the math a little easier. And then we have a glide block for two seconds. So in total, that's two plus one plus two equals five seconds that it's going to take from when I hit the green flag to when the cat arrives in front of the dog. So I am going to go back over here to my dog sprite I'm going to change this to five seconds. And now let's see what happens when I click the green flag. The cat appears, says hello, waits, moves to the right, and then at five seconds, the dog says, how are you? The cat, who is being kind of rude by just walking away and saying goodbye, then turns and goes back to the left. Now, doing all of that math manually is not necessarily the best approach, because if I go back over to the cat sprite and change something, for example, if I slow down the glide to take four seconds instead of two seconds and rerun the program, then the dog is going to say, how are you, too early, because the cat hasn't gotten there yet. If I want to change that, then every time I change something, with the cat's timing, I would need to redo the math and go over and change something with the dog's timing. There is a way you can do that automatically using something called variables, which we have not discussed yet, but that is going to be a topic for our next video. For now, you have learned how to make a basic animation using multiple sprites in Scratch. For science projects that you can do with Scratch, as well as our other Scratch tutorial videos, check out the links in the description of this video. For over a thousand other projects in all areas of science and engineering, check out the rest of our YouTube channel and our website, www.sciencebuddies.org.